The Wish Ender Exotic Bow is ridiculously strong for PvP. Some might even call it OP. I'll leave that for you to decide down in the comments. This was brought to my attention from various different posts across social media. But then after further review, I actually looked at the top 10 weapons on Destiny Trials Report, and none of them are the Wish Ender Bow. The number one most used weapon is Conditional Finality with 1.4 million kills this last weekend in Trials. Number two is Igneous Hammer. Three, the Amit Air. Two, four, the Unending Tempest. Five is the Immortal Adept SMG, 6 is the Cloud Strike, the Matador 64 is 7, the Igneous Hammer regular version is number 8, the Messenger Adept number 9, and the 10th spot goes to the Le Monarch Exotic Bow, not the Wish Ender. So initially when people were telling me that the Wish Ender was OP, I thought that they were over exaggerating. I thought that they were selling it a little bit. So I decided to take it into Crucible and give it a test and oh my god, is it insane. Not only is it insane because of the wall hacks, but because it actually does like 160 to the head, and it's very easy to get those headshots because you can literally see them through walls before they strafe out into the open and bows have like absolutely absurd aim assist so it's very hard to miss these shots and then I began to wonder why it wasn't actually in the top 10 and why more people aren't talking about this and I think it's because it doesn't actually one hit kill enemies and people end up strafing away teammates clean up the kills or like what I'm doing in this gameplay here I'm actually swapping to my energy weapon and finishing them off with the igneous hammer all it takes is one body shot from the igneous hammer to kill them and of course what that's going to do is buff up the numbers for the igneous hammer not for the Wish Ender, which is probably the reason why Igneous Hammer is literally number two this week. A lot of you out there already have an Igneous Hammer with Quick Draw on it. Comment down below if you do have one sitting in the vault. And that is the crown jewel of this build. If you use this bow and swap to an Igneous Hammer with Quick Draw, you're gonna have a fun time because you're gonna very easily destroy people. They're not gonna expect to die that fast. And even if you don't absolutely destroy people, the awareness you get from having wall hacks and trials is kind of ridiculous. You can see if someone is flanking and you can target that individual way before you ever even get a radar ping. Behind me here you can see the gameplay of me playing just three games of trials with it and I definitely had not gotten the exact hang of it. I was honestly just messing around and having fun with it and I was still able to just absolutely destroy all the teams we played against with it. So I'm definitely in the opinion that this is a little bit OP. As much as I hate getting things nerfed, I don't think we're quite there yet, but you can agree or disagree down in the comments. If I had to decide on one thing that does need to get adjusted, it would certainly be those wall hacks because those are just ridiculously good. You should honestly only be able to see them through the walls through the tiny arrow scope right there. That would give you a much smaller window of opportunity to call out all the teammates or to shoot them before they come around the corner because as it stands right now you just ads you draw the string back and then you can just see everything on the screen see exactly where everyone's at that or maybe there should be some like distance that you can't see people through the walls i don't know let me know your thoughts or theories on how to balance out the wish ender and be prepared over the next few weeks of trials to run into the wish ender exotic bow more and more because it is really really good and i know that some of you out there watching will be upset that i'm promoting this exotic but the fact of the matter is i'm not telling you to use the wish I'm just letting you know how good it is. It's up to you to decide whether or not you want to use it. Obviously, if you do put it on, a lot of people are going to teabag you out there, and perhaps rightly so. The choice is yours what to do with this information. Just make sure you don't shoot the messenger. I'm just here to bring you the news, and I do it every day. That's why you should be subscribed to this channel with notifications on. Now, enjoy the gameplay I got from playing three games with this, and behold the power of Wish Ender. Oh, that swap was disgustingly fast. That swap was disgustingly fast. What was that? That can't be like the way it normally is. Yeah, wish under Ignis. I just yeah, you click like snap on your Ignis, so will be fast. They rage quit. No, the guy on my team rage quit. The guy on my team was like, "Nah, I can't be <laughs> paired up with this." Can't be associated with this filth. I just, just the fact that you're watching people through the walls is still crazy to me. I can yeah, call everyone it's out. Like, it's interesting. It, they should make the wall hacks where it's only in the scope of the bow. You know, it's literally your whole entire line. Yeah. Of sight. Your entire it's like line of sight, pretty much. Is. Your entire screen having wall hacks doesn't make any sense. It works a little bit better if I can be like an archer in the back. One. I'm just sitting back here just picking people off with one thirties. I can see you. What are you gonna do? <laughs> oh no. This is actually evil. If I I mean I'm literally this is my first game doing it. Not that it takes like X 
expertise to necessarily understand it. Oof. So you're gonna peek this? You literally got. <laughs> Oh, he has it too? Oh, it's Jover. Oh, he got revived? Just the wall hacks alone, it's crazy enough, like. Should be able to get that kill. Oh, he's got it too. He's chilling over here. He peaked when he's one shot. That's your average wish under user IQ right there. <laughs> oh no. He just slides by and gets out of there. You guys, you gotta push up. I'm literally back here with the wish hunter tagging everyone. What are you doing, blueberries? Damn, it destroys Titan Walls too, because of the anti barrier. Oh, yeah, wow. that literally two tapped nice. the Titan Wall. This is dirty. Crucible is ruined while this thing is, has this. Yeah. You have one, like 130 to the head. It's not like what insane to that. Second damage number. Oh no, yeah, it's 130 to the head and then 30 to the body, so 160 in total. Yeah. Yeah, that's a little much, I think. I wasn't even doing the swap there. You just use the bow. You could just use the bow with wall hacks, a free 160 to the head. You can't miss. There, you literally have wall hacks. How do you miss? That guy peeks in like one pixel. His shields are dropped. Looks like. This guy gonna peek it again. Bye. That's messed up. That should be illegal. This guy's running away, and he said. Ooh! I thought that was a healing day chat. Can we just delete the VOD and never speak about that again? I'm gonna get someone back a bit. He put it on. He he swapped to it on. He got killed by it, and then instantly put the weapon on. He's gonna farm him. Farm him. Farm him. You want to know what just happened there, chat? I was holding the bow for so long that it auto released it at the exact time that guy peeked. That's funny. This guy peek it.
Grab this. Oh, sh**. Oh, not the child of the old gods. Ugh. <laughs> that guy was absolutely quaking in his boots right there. Yeah, I think you probably don't want three of them on your team. I mean, obviously, if you're good, you're going to pull it off against a worse team. But you probably just want, like, one person on your team that does it to call out where people are at. Like, if one guy's circling inside, etc. If you enjoyed the video, smash the like button and click on the screen here to watch another one from the channel. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Later.